when I started this series, I said I wanted to do more than just One Piece. And I'm starting that today. Let's talk about stage mode from the Naruto franchise. The Japanese pronunciation of the name is Senin Mojo. Stage mode was first introduced in Naruto manga chapter 375 during Jiraiya's fight with Pain. Stage mode is incredibly powerful. Even an incomplete version of stage mode allowed Jiraiya to fight toe to toe with Pain. Naruto took out Pain using stage mode. And Hashirama, using stage mode, was able to damage and break a perfect Susano of Madara Uchiha. So Susano is no joke. It even allows the users to hurt people that have absorbed all nine-tailed beasts and become a ten-tailed Jinshuriki. So now let's get to the technical stuff. Stage mode is a powerful state that can be entered by blending natural energy with your chakra. In order to enter stage mode, the gatherer must remain absolutely still in order to be one with nature and balance the natural energy with their own physical and spiritual energy. If the user puts too little natural energy into using Senjutsu, the technique will not work. However, if too much energy is taken in, their body will transform into stone forever. Humans will also be transformed into whatever animal school the Stenjis you will learn from. So, if you are a governor of the Toad and have signed the Toad governing contract and are learning it from the Toad, you will turn into a Toad. Same with a snake. If you are learning it from a snake, you will turn into a snake. If you are learning it from a dog, you will turn into a dog. There are two known places that stage mode is taught at. Mount Miyaboku, where you learn from the Toads, and Ryuki cave where you are taught by the snakes. However, it is very likely that there are other summoning animals capable of using stage mode, and even more likely that the slugs are one of them, as two of the stunning summoning animals, the toad and snake, are capable of doing it. So I think it's pretty likely the slugs can do it too. While we don't know much of anything about the training that takes place at Ryushi Cave, we do know a ton about what happened on Mount Miyaboku where Naruto Uzumaki and Jiraiya trained in the art of stage mode. On Mount Miyaboku, there are several tools that have been created to make learning stage mode easier. One of them is applying a special oil to the user body that will start passively taking in natural energy. However, and very unfortunate for the users of stage mode, the oil evaporates immediately when taken out of the atmosphere of Mount Miyaboku. The toads also have a staff that when knocked with will knock out all the natural energy of the user, thus reversing any transformation before they, became, before they can become permanent and become a toad or a stone. Now, we do know a little bit about Ryuchi Cave, but I will be brief. At Ryuji Cave, one must be bitten by the white snake stage who injects them with natural energy. According to legend, if one's body is strong enough to withstand this snake transformation, it will set the power, granting them the power of stage mode, which sounds a lot easier than the years and years of training somebody like Naruto or Jiraiya had to go through to learn from the toad. Unlike with Luffy's gear, that just enhance one or two things that are very simple. Stay mode enhances a lot and it's really complicated, so please bear with me. The users, strength, speed, stamina, reflection, perception, and durability are all enhanced. The users, ninjutsu, genjutsu, and taijutsu become more powerful. The user can now manipulate natural energy. People that master the stage techniques of Mount Miyaboku had the ability to turn the natural energy around them into an extension of their body to increase the reach of their attack. Those who master stage mode at Ruchi Cave have shown the ability to use natural energy to breathe life into inorganic substances and control them. Another one of the many abilities of stage mode is to sense the chakra of people and things around them. 
Now let's just take a minute to talk about some of the things you can do with this ability. Now there are many things you could do in combat with this ability, but the biggest thing it is commonly used for is tracking. When Naruto arrived in Konoha to fight Pain, he immediately checked up on almost everybody in the village using save mode to sense their chakras. He noticed that Kakashi Hatake's chakra was gone and assumed he was dead. After escaping from Yamato in the land of iron, Naruto also used stage mode to find where the battle between Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi was taking place. Also, being able to sense people's location is great if you are blinded in combat or if they use a smoke bomb. Stage mode also gives you a practical immunity to chakra absorbing technique as when they are used, they would absorb your chakra as well as your natural energy. And if they take in too much natural energy, they will turn to stone. Unless they have had prior stage mode training in the past, and then this ability and advantage would be completely and utterly useless. And now you're probably thinking, stage mode is really broken. And while on the surface it is very broken, it does have many major disadvantages. The first weakness is that, as I stated earlier, the user must remain perfectly still to take in natural energy. So, if you run out of natural energy in combat, you obviously have no way of attaining any more of it as you are, you know, moving. If you're moving, you obviously can't be completely and perfectly still and calm. Though, some people have entered stage mode without preparing, and Naruto Uzumaki has stated that it is possible to strengthen the time limit you can spend in stage mode. But you can overcome this weakness with the stage art amphibian technique, which is habiting Shima and Fusaku fugue with you by sitting on your soldiers and gathering the natural energy for you and then giving it to you while well, you simply use it in combat. However, if you are a Jinchuriki, the tail beast inside you can reject it, the animal that is trying to get onto your shoulder and gather natural energy. As seen when Kurama rejected Shima and Fusaku. Another option is actually an idea and technique created by Naruto Uzumaki himself. The idea is to use shadow clones. You see, you have a shadow clone gather the nature energy elsewhere, and then when your natural energy is needed, having them disperse, transferring it to the original. However, this limits the number of shadow clones an user can have active at the time to five. For as long as the clones are gathering natural energy, having any more would disrupt the clone's focus. Kabuto also used the DNA of Jugo to replicate his clan's ability to passively absorb natural energy, thus allowing him to continuously collect the energy even while moving, bypassing the particular weaknesses. Also, if the user is a Jinchuriki that has achieved harmony with their tail beat, they can drastically speed up their ability to gather natural energy in tail beat mode, to the point of only needing a few seconds to fully charge or recharge their stage chakra. Then there's this pad stage mode, or Rakuto Senin Mogul, but that is a whole nother video in and of itself. So, we're not going to talk about that here, but I will get to that eventually later down the line. The next video will be me explaining Nami's climate attack. I did something really big this time, so next time I want to do something simpler. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe, for more videos like this, as I mentioned, I have a video explaining the climate attack coming out. I will also eventually explain the stage of the path mode that Naruto used against Sasuke and Kaguya. And I will be explaining a ton of other stuff like my totic regeneration, weapons, and, uh, and even the Bankai the Bleach. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for all the awesome stuff I mentioned earlier. And above all else, guys. Have a great day.